Reflection really is about you being your own best friend. If you had your best friend sitting next to you and you said, this happened today, and it really made me angry, your best friend would say certain things to you. To say, well, look, sometimes you come across a bit brash, sometimes you come across a bit this or that, or uh, perhaps the other person was having a bad day. So your best friend would tell you. So reflection really is about you being your own best friend, to about thinking about those sort of things. Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah. We need to look after ourselves. So being our own best friend isn't about being critical. reasons will we be asking you to reflect? We're asking you to reflect beyond the course, not just for the self improvement, so it's not just yeah. the learning, it's the, the professional development. Yep, self improvement, great. So, what other reasons are we asking you to do this? Well, you're talking about it all being on a professional basis, but if you've got your professional okay, then your personal is going to be okay. Yes. So it's personal preservation as well as... It is. So is it about looking after self? Yeah. Yeah. And that's a really great point. It's about looking after yourself. It's about putting all of that stuff that's happened during the day into a place. Have you got any questions on that or is that why do we? Lots of really good reasons. to do is using the paper in front of you, this is um, you having a go. I want you to reflect on yesterday. It was a big day. Um, I shouldn't say, I shouldn't preempt it with a big day. It was a day that was new to you, lots of things happened. I want you to reflect in just by hand this time using those questions that I posed before. And what I want you to do is write it down and then um, later we'll get on the computers and you can actually put it in your blog online. When you put it in your blog online, don't edit. I want this from the very first thought of, I'm sitting down to do my reflections right now, I'm going to write what happened. I'm going to write how it made me feel. So if you start editing, you're not going to get your full feeling in that reflective blog later. So type it word for word when you put it in the blog. Does that make sense to everyone? Because otherwise you're not going to get the full good <coughs> impact of what you're exactly feeling. So I'll give you about 10 minutes or so to go through that and answer each one of those questions. Okay? Through all of those questions, and 
to take much longer, I don't think you're going to do it justice. If you start really being too critical of yourself and pulling apart too much, you're not going to get the real feeling and action and stuff like that. So it might be, open up your blogs at the end of the day before you leave work, type in what's going on, or at the end of our online sessions, turn off the online classroom, get in your blog, have a little bit of a type away and go, what happened? I was in class tonight. That information really, really um, invigorated me, inspired me, something like that. Or I'm still confused about that point. I really need to make an appointment to see one of the trainers to sort that out. So take that five, ten minutes. It will make you feel so good. Like Some negative feedback can be understanding yourself better, reflect on ways you can improve yourself and those people are trying to assist you through that process of, I really need to tell you that, look, this is what you're doing, it's probably not the best way. If you have someone who is giving you feedback in a really good way, they're actually assisting you to move forward from that and go, how could you work better in this, in this space? role or management or things like, like that. So yeah, negative feedback can be turned into quite a positive. Seat yourself facing one another, almost knees together. We'll each take a turn. So for your turn, you will Either out long time you receive negative feedback, we talked about that a little bit before. Perhaps you didn't feel supported and what happened. So you have a little brief thing and do that face to face. Or you could outline a scenario in your organisation you would like assistance with. Perhaps it's time to give some feedback to a colleague and or employee. Then what we get you to do is the person who's just given the scenario, you're going to turn around. You're not going to be facing those people and the people behind you will discuss between them what um, sort of uh, suggestions they would have for you to, to handle that situation. So you don't add any information to it. it sounds complicated, watch you sit down and be okay. So it's like you, these two people are your conscience telling you how can I handle this situation. You're not going to react, you're not going to nod your head, you may be smiling towards the front, that's okay, but they can't see it. What they won't see is your reaction to it or uh, that response, I've already tried that. They're going to be your fresh set of ears and eyes to come up with a little plan. to say what the problem is or the issue is. You don't have to go into all that much depth, just sort of describe it. There can be some, some questions asked of it, but not too many, otherwise it becomes really quite a large, large thing. And then you turn around. And I think the power in it is the turning around. It means that you're not going, mm, I've done that before. It just means that you are also free to listen. You are not looking at body language of those people who are talking because they may be going, oh, that's a difficult one. You already know what's difficult. 